Hello, my dear friends. I hope everybody's doing well. I come in here uh, to touch base just on, on, on a note. I want to thank everybody for subscribing, for sharing the videos, for talking about Savat, for watching the podcast. There's a lot of stuff that we got going on now. We're trying to get everybody kind of uh, educate folks on the happenings in the community here in, in Laredo as well as in self-defense and the art of uh, Savat and what we do here at Buitron Academy. You know, we've been here for such a long time. And the other associations that we're associated with, we always post stuff from them as well. But there was a video that's been circulating. A lot of people are asking me, what is this video? And I'll show it right now. Well, this video, which I'll show more clips, is from the French elite force, elite soldiers known as the Alpine, the Chasseurs Alpines. The Chasseurs Alpines, or the, uh, the hunters of the Alpines, that's basically what it is. It's been a, they have a long tradition of fighting since before Napoleon, okay? They were known as the Blue Devils. They used to say, we, we're not raw, we're not blue bloods, we're green bloods, and our and our blood bleeds for France. That was their song, okay? They were used in many wars, in World War One, World War Two, and, and they've in other conflicts as well. A dear friend of mine, Professor Seni Mark from Nice, he was an Alpine. Uh, in fact, uh, if you go to his house, his beret is still up there. And they say, that's Savat. That is not savant. That's box Frances, French boxing. And we have all the people that question and so on and so forth, and they'll say, no, you're wrong because I read this. No, listen, straight down the line. French boxing, box Frances, was taught to the police and military. Okay? Yes, there were some schools in Paris that taught box Frances. Of course, it was developed in Paris. Okay, Box Francaise was a art that was developed in Paris. The name of Box Francaise before Box Francaise was known as Adresse Parisienne. And it was developed by uh, Charles Lecour back in 1830s. Okay, after he fought Owen Swift, who broke his nose and he went to England to learn how to bo box and he came back and then it was known as Adresse Parisienne. After Adresse Parisienne, uh, the poet Theophile Gautier changed the name to Boc Francais. So Boc Francais stuck there. there. Boc Francais and Savat had similar kicks, similar wording, similar traditions, but they ran two parallel roads from 1830 to 1978. In 1978, they merged and they formed one sport, Savat and Boc Francais. So the time that I was there, when I lived, uh, you know, and I, I still live as a Salvatore, right? When I lived and I breathed and I walked like every day and I taught in France, there were divisions still of box Francaise schools, clubs that were doing the sport and Savat clubs that were doing the sport. I come from a Savat school. My professor Paturel was Savat. Uh, my professor Richard Sila was Savat. Uh, my professor, Jean-Paul Viviani, he was Box Francaise, okay? He taught me Box Francaise and Khan. Now, Box Francaise Savat, I learned, and I learned in, in INSEP, where it was designed, okay? And the professor, to two, that I give credit to developing Box Francaise Savat, the sport, is uh, technical director, Bob Alex, and uh, professor uh, Hervé Burlande. Those were the ones that actually developed it. Then every, and then now everybody does it, right? That's what you see. Uh, the last professor of Savat, which was uh, Bertrand uh, uh, Leprevot, who was the teacher of, of Bobigny. He was the last living Savat professor inside the French Federation in 2012. He retired in 20. 17. So there's no more. Okay. Uh, clubs of Box and Says are still in existence. Club Clichy is one of them. Now Box and Says has taken every, everything else. 
Now, let's leave that. We kind of know that. Let's talk about the history of Box Ancestry and its connection with Alpine. The kick that they're doing in the video, and I'll play the video right here, that kick is known as Coupe de Moule, Mule Kick. It's a chasse lateral derivative. And you have to understand one thing about Savat and Box Ancestry clubs, or known as Sal. Each one had its own regional kick, what they used to call regional kick. That kick that you're seeing there is known as the coupe de moule, okay? It's still used now, okay? My professor Patuel taught it. In fact, I have videos of him teaching it from way back when, coupe de moule. They're known in the Savat and Box Francais realm at the time that I was growing up and, and living in breathing it when I was there, it, they were known as regional kicks. Why regional kicks? You had so many people that walked, you had so many different schools, you do not know everybody. The silver gloves know each other, the professors know each other because of that brigade system that if you're walking in France and you see a professor, he's gonna know who you are. If you see a silver glove, he's gonna know who you are. It's a tight knit group, but how about all the other gloves? The other gloves also know how to fight, right? Some of them use it for good, some of them use it for bad. You never know who you're going to go up against. So when you became a silver glove, they'll teach you certain kicks for you to defend yourself against others. Those are known as regional kicks. Um, I made a video about certain regional kicks back then. You guys, uh, I'll click it right here for you guys to see. I'll link it in one of the cards for you guys to see that kick, um, that video on those kicks. But that's what it is. This is a old video of uh, Chasseur Appliance, which is an elite soldier, which are doing box fences for those out there. Now, the connections, as we we're talking about the Alpines, that left behind within box fences. The Alpines had a strong tradition. They did not use uniform. They used to wear tanu. Guess what we use in, in uh, the schools here? The, it's not a uniform, a sabat uniform. It's called sabat tanu. Okay, that's one of the major things that are left behind because of that military, um, how can I say, the military influence in box says left those words behind. Another thing that we had uh, is the word quartier or quarter. They're from that quarter, they're from this section, they're from that quarter. Why do we say that? Because in Box Francaise, you also say they come from that quartier over there, that sector. It's still used, well, it was used when I was around. I don't know if it's used now, but it was used in the Federation. They, they went to that, they belong to that section, that quartier over there. It's like a segment of, uh, of Paris where several clubs belong to. That was your segment. So you reported, you signed everybody up when they became... Uh, members, you'll you'll sign them up, but then you have to get them registered with the director of the quartier. Understand what I'm saying? So there's a lot of words that were used that were brought in from that. They did not have it in Savat. Why? Because Savat was more of a layman's term. And if you guys want to share it, please share it. If you guys want to leave a comment, leave a comment. Want to email me? It's very simple. We throw an academy 2012 at gmail.com. Um, if you want to pass by, we have a lot of seminars coming up. In fact, I just finished a book of uh, USA Savat, uh, the history of French pugilism in America. So, for, and, the, and the sport. This is the sport, books on Savat. Until much, I'll leave you with this. Be safe. God bless you all.